Hello, this is another Sarah Reed's favorite old storybooks. Um, I only have a couple left, so if you guys like these, or you have one in particular you would like me to read that you really like, uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Otherwise, these are mostly just for me, because um, these books do belong to my mom, and they need to stay at her house so they can be enjoyed by new little kids, my nieces and nephews, and hopefully my own kids someday. Um, but yeah, this one's in really good shape. I'm really happy about that. I mean, considering that it's older than I am and I am quite old. I know this book is at least 20 years old and it's held up really well. Okay, Henry's Awful Mistake by Roberta Quackenbush, which is the most perfect name. These are ants. And of course my mom tags all of her books in case they need to go traveling, they can come back to her. for Piet and his Grandma Q, and Margie and Leslie B. The day Henry the Duck asked his friend Clara over for supper, he found an ant in the kitchen. Henry was worried that Clara would see the ant. She might think his hand, house was not clean. The ant had to go. Henry reached for a can of ant spray, but he didn't want to spray near the food he was cooking. So he chased the ant with a frying pan. Henry ran around the kitchen chasing after the ant, but the ant got away and hid behind the stove. Henry took the food he was cooking off the stove. Then he shut off the flame and pulled the stove away from the wall. He saw the ant. The ant saw Henry and ran into a small crack in the wall. Henry went and got a hammer. Henry pounded a big hole in the wall where the crack was, but he couldn't find the ant, so he kept on pounding. The hole got bigger and bigger. At last, Henry saw the ant sitting on a pipe inside the wall. Henry aimed the hammer at the ant and missed. The blow of the hammer broke the pipe. Water came shooting out of the pipe and Henry couldn't stop it. Henry grabbed a towel, tied it around the pipe, and the water stopped shooting out. But it hadn't stopped the water soon enough. It had sprayed all over the kitchen. Everything was soaking wet, except for Clara's supper, thank goodness. Henry began mopping up the puddles of water. All at once he slipped and banged the kitchen table. Everything came crashing down. Henry was, Henry was covered with pots and pans of food. The supper was ruined. There was nothing Henry could do now but call Clara and tell her not to come. While Henry was talking on the telephone, the towel came loose from the pipe. The water came shooting out and flooded the whole house. Henry was carried right out the front door by the flood. There was no going back. Poor Henry's house was washed away by the flood. He saved what he could and moved into a new house. When Henry settled into his new house, he again asked Clara over for supper. Just as he went to the door to let Clara in, he saw an ant. I think it's the same ant. He looked the other way. About the author. Are you, okay, I'm gonna read this because I've never read it before and it looks like it's kind of funny. Some time ago, Roberta Quackenbush received a letter from a young reader, I'm reading it because I know it's really blurry, uh, who was puzzled by his name. Oh, Robert, not Roberta, goodness. Are you really a duck? The letter writer asked. Mr. Quackenbush decided right then and there to write stories about a disaster prone duck named Henry. The first Too Many Lollipops was originally published by parents. I think that's the group that puts out, anyway, by parents. Capital. Henry's Awful Mistake is the latest tale of Henry's mishaps and how he deals with them. Robert Quackenbush is the author, illustrator of more than 40 other books and the illustrator of another 70. His artwork has been exhibited in leading muse museums across the U.S. and is now on display in a gallery he owns and runs in New York City. He also teaches painting, writing, and illustrating to adults and art to children there. Mr. Quackenbush lives in New York City with his wife Marjorie and their young son Piet. P-I-E-T. Uh, sounds like he's living the life. That's nice. Cool. So I guess the lesson is ignore ants. 